All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. It's time for the sports. Victor Allen's new new sports written, directed by the Bahadur Black Man. You know him. He is the man that the ladies have nicknamed Sexual Chocolate. Unique, fan-based, your sports. Something different. You can't get it like this. Ladies, gird your loins. Men, get on the iron jock. It's time for Victor Allen. Sports, Dylan. It's sports. Yeah. That's a lot of hollering, bro. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of hollering. Okay. All right, you guys. Welcome back, man. It's been a long season off, man. And I have to apologize, man, Mario, because I think this is the first time that we actually, in doing our broadcast, did not catch any of the Olympic flow the way we usually do. We're not talking about. Oh yeah, I was sure. I wasn't sure what we you meant for a minute. They're doing. I think we have a. You know, we have a. We a, couldn't afford the ticket we, this year. We actually usually. Yeah, set up something special. Money to do was that. tight. Yeah, Money couldn't was tight. do it. Couldn't do it, man. Do it. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I, let me say this. I think a lot of people are probably wondering how much commentary are you doing about certain events. I purposely didn't do a lot of commentary during the sports activities throughout the last couple of months. It was a reason why, because uh, a lot of times when you're implementing new programs and things that we were doing, especially with the Pac Stereo Live, it was more important to try to bridge that with some of the people that we do a lot of work with, friends and associates, and it seems to be working its way in. And you need to redirect some of your energy, slow down to speed up. That being said, I get to play a little catch up, Mario, with what I call so far, and we're in October right now, I call it the most memorable athlete moment, not athletic moment, because I didn't get to talk about a number of things because we were on a different direction. And so what I'm going to do is, you know, this is a conversation. It's your opinion, what you observed, what I observed. And how I want to couch this is memorable at the moment, staying power now and will live on most I guess you could say most impactfully as you move on in sports and with the names I'm going to give you you'll be able to say I think this one will be the story that will hang on for the longest you ready for this man I think I've got my robe open <laughs> you got your robe open. <laughs> I got you all right I'm gonna drop the name we're gonna show the person <coughs> you have to define or say this is what it meant to me and the first person stepping up Simone Biles and the reason why I say that is because the hype was on from a U.S. perspective and from the U.S. perspective, Simone basically was being considered the greatest and most dominant gymnast ever. Now, that's very difficult when you have gymnasts who have performed in multiple Olympics. Now, my opinion of this is what's more important? Before I get to you, Mario, you can be in three or four Olympics. But if you're really so dominant, unlike any other athlete in one Olympic visit, which is more important, multiple, where you basically was competitive with everyone else and you were in two or three or four Olympics, or that one where you dominate and nobody can even get close to you and touch you, which one would you want to leave your mark on? And did Simone Biles give you well, that impact? Well, I mean, historically, there's, there's always points made of both, but the person who's able to have longevity repeat performances ultimately is the one who gets the most you know i mean you can get five medals one year and then the expectation will then be how do i how do they perform the next year right and if they go in the next year and they don't get any medals or somehow they underperform or is perceived then that then becomes their legacy right so no it ends up being actually more important that you have a history of repeat performances mm -hmm. over and over again documenting your superiority over some period of time. Right. That's why Usain Bolt, you know, uh, the, our Bolt. friend the swimmer, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. this is what's Phelps. important. Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps. Yeah. This is what's important. So while I think my hats are off to a bunch of the young folks who made their appearances in this past, now it's up to them to have repeat performances, right? And that's by, by which ultimately their 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 legacy is to be judged. So, with and, and let me just say this: with Simone, you're waiting to see if she will come back again. So her performance right now is just no. I wouldn't. I would not add any. Is just no. 
No, because what happens is I don't want to remove the track from the greatness of the individual performances of the moment. Right. Because we have a bunch of people in many sports who've done that. Right. Not without returning. So I don't want right. to understate that. I want to celebrate the moment right. right now more, Vic, and then say hopefully let's see that they can be re repeated. But right. the same thing goes for a bunch of the other sports where you have rookies, mm -hmm. right, yep. you know, going on doing things like, win you know, it's look at Philadelphia Eagles. Mm -hmm. Same kind of thing, but we hope to see you continue it because that's ultimately where they're, you're going to be judged. True. Scroll up to the next Memorable moment or not, how impactful, and I have to give this man because, you know, if you can smooth, chill, and move yourself over to Dancing with the Stars, Ryan Lochte, uh, basically blatantly lie about the mugging in Rio. That's basically the story rap. Well, <laughs> it's, it's not going to last forever. Right. Uh, the problem with him for a bunch of reasons, he's toward the end of his career. Limited opportunities to redeem himself. Uh, he messed up already by not really coming clean in a way that was you know, seen as forthright by people. So he's got that. It's just that he, he will cease to be in people's memories, but whenever they talk about the ugly American, he will be the example that they bring up. For a long time, from their perspective, from well, I'm, from the any media people, right? I don't but, think. And here's the thing: the the media people here were actually kinder than the foreign media. Right. So I think. See, this is why I say no, Vic, because the foreign media, for example, they were so pissed off. Right. They will be talking about it for a long time. Right. And so the American media has talked about it because he embarrassed us. Of course. But So they're not going to keep talking about it. But when stuff comes up about the ugly American athlete, he will be the example that they point to. So staying power as it relates to. Oh, it's to, long. It's going to be long. So, so far we can say. Because there's for him, percent. for him, right. We'll for forget our, about him in the athletic circle. Right. We won't talk about it. See, name brand on something like that gives them the fuel to say, "I told you about those Americans." Right? Because we won't bring right. it up. See, we, we won't, won't right. bring it up. The other people will bring it All up and day. say, "Remember," but we'll be like, "Huh? Oh yeah, him. Oh yeah." Okay. I, I got a question for you, man. Would you like to go down there and visit that location where he was hanging out at that nice little shopping area and say, "Hey, I'm here. I'm a wonderful American." Would you like to be uh, the one that... I got to go down there with you, say that, and tell them we're here to get the inside track. <laughs> right. Tell us some real dirt. Right. Just in your own language. What was going down? If you need to use curse words, <laughs> hand signals as you right. talk, right. Wait, feel wait, wait. free. We go down there and get the real pack right. stereo version right. of the story. Right. Okay. If you say so. Get something good to eat while we down there. Okay. I just want to let you know. Okay. Yeah. That, that was a good one. That's, yeah. That, that's, and I will say this. Mm -hmm. There's the USA perspective or the American perspective. Then there's the world. And right now, Lochte, far as the world, has an imprint almost well, as when they point to as him, Usain Bolt as it relates to track and field. Well, that's what I'm saying. And right now... You need to have other Americans that everybody loves. See, remember, you have other American athletes that people have loved. Simone and so, Biles. Yeah, and, it, and exactly. So when you have those kinds of things, there you go. But imagine how this tarnishes them. Right. See, that's okay. where it's... it's All right. okay. Let's move on to the next. How did you feel when you heard the news about Thunder jumping over to the Warriors' Kevin Durant? I was, I was happy. It didn't hit you as unexpected? I mean, think oh, about yeah, it. it did hit me as unexpected. But, yeah. you know, that's like when the woman at the bar looks up and says, so how are you tonight? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> that's some unexpected wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. shit. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Excuse me. Wait a minute. Okay, so. It's unexpected, but you like it. Okay. That was my point. Right. It's unexpected, but you, and you didn't think about it. Yeah. You weren't thinking about it. Right. But at that moment, you thinking about it. Wait a minute. <laughs> so, so, wait a minute. So, wait a minute. So, somebody comes over to yeah. you, Mario, because, of course, Mario <laughs> has told me about stories like this he said man one time man i was just chilling at this wonderful business mixer and i was not really trying to mix this beautiful woman mm. came up she was a 10 Lord. and then as she decided to say i'll be right back a 10.5 came mm. you mean that's the kind of feeling you're talking about right it only happens once in a lifetime <laughs> right okay all right all right you got it all right let's go to the next 
Uh, this is going to be easy. Now just let, let it scroll because this oh. is your girl, man. This is your girl. Hope, Hope Solo. Solo. She's right. trouble, All man. Right. She's maniac she used woman. the cowardly words. She's maniac woman, but man. But will it, will it have staying power? Staying power now. There's the U.S. perspective and then there's the international. And she went cowardly on it the It may nation. have because, okay, here's the thing. She will go down as memorable because she's probably the most memorable female sports figure American in hockey. Right. One of the most. Right. You know, so there's a couple others you could, you know. Right. But still, she's going to be with that level of intensity and also with the fact that she has the awards to prove it. But she just had a shoulder replacement. Right. And I don't even know what gets, how causes you to have a, first of all, I find it hard to believe she had a shoulder replacement. Is that your concern right now? Because I'm, as a physician, reading what I'm, because I need to know I'm, what would cause you have your shoulder replaced I'm gonna get at a her little, age. I'm going to get a little deep. Mario, you, this was your songbird, bro. Well, look at her. <laughs> I would just want to know. So how do you feel about oh, this? Oh, she got a badass sports no, name. Hope you, Solo. Wait a minute. Only Hope. <laughs> wait a minute, That's man. That's badass. This is your songbird. She was badass. Are you, look at her. Are you disappointed? Oh, Oh, are you disappointed? Yes. Are you standing by her, ride or die? No, <laughs> bailing like a mofo. Out, I'm out. Now wait a minute. You're crazy. Let me say this. Now they say T B I C. That mm, is crazy. Okay, she's crazy. They said they had to. She was kicking her cousin's ass. Police had to pull her off. She went off on the police. Now, so wait a minute. I'm just so saying, me, man. Look at her. Don't you want to mess with that? I'm just, I'm just. So basically, you have taken a you step back. The strap on. You, you taking a step back. That's not your girl anymore, right? Oh no, I bailed. I said I'm gone. <laughs> Shit, my love is truly conditional. All right, man. That's my love is conditional as it comes. <laughs> not, you're, you're not right or die. Call it, look up conditional love. They have my picture. Okay. <laughs> let me let me ask you one one exiting question on this. How do you feel about and do you really think the women? from the Swedish soccer team are cowards. No, they're not cowards. No. And I would like to extend my own hand to them <laughs> as American, let them know that Vic and I would be available to comfort them and ease any f ill feelings they may have. Right. We could certainly give you that cocoa African-American perspective. Go. All right, here we go. And we would love to entertain not only the Swedes, All right. but any of the other <laughs> Europeans. Right. In fact, <laughs> right. all over the world, all of y'all ladies... You come to L.A., looking right. for something to do. I make a wonderful, you know, make a wonderful mojito. So come on down. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, I see what you did. You All did. Right, come on That's down. That's a good thing. And you can actually see well, Vic in the flesh. He'll wear some tight shorts for you. <laughs> the smart move, smart move is to embrace the country, man. The smart move. You got All those right. tight shorts? Got yeah. I, not anymore, man. Gave that up. Even well, the I, bicycle, I just promised the girls. E even on the bicycle. Are you going to wear some good lady? I Vic's going to give you some wear, bicycle pants. No. I ladies, that's your it. incentive to write no. Vic. No. You get to see him in the bicycle okay, pants. man. It's the hardest thing, man. I think you could probably even choose from a collection difficult. of bicycle pants which ones he should wear. All right. All right. Let's Pick see the if, pants. Let's see how much he smiles when I bring up this next gentleman. This next gentleman is already coveting the hottest story probably in sports right now, and that's Colin Kaepernick. Mm. The 49ers quarterback takes a knee for justice. Now, here's your group. You, I already know how you feel about it. Colin, you've already posted some videos. You've already had your, your 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 purview of what you believe it stands for on the bigger stage. How will this be remembered in comparison to the other athletes and their moments? It'll be remembered in history. It'll be very historical. Okay. It'll stand as a moment in history. Right. Because it ends up being a symbol of the of what went down. Right. And you have some other photos and pictures of symbols from previous. So, no, it has a long-lasting historical perspective. Right. He gets to stand in that light. He earned it. Right. He's earned it. Right. And because of that, he's got a whole different level of support from people like myself and others. And so, no, he's earned it. So it's a moment in time, Vic. It's, one, it's a very, very special Okay. Moment in time, and 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 I guarantee you that with time, mm -hmm. it'll be held more and more in adoration. Whose name will go down in infamy as more popular and having a more seminal moment? Colin Kaepernick or Rodney King? <laughs> Colin Kaepernick, you asshole. <laughs> right. 
Can we all get along? And I meant that in a wonderful, kind way. Because Pack Stereo is a place where <laughs> assholes gather and being assholes in art form. Wait sort of like New York. Wait a minute. <laughs> See, as much as I'm laughing, when you look at the need and look at Rodney's video, what will affect you more? It's all, like I said, I'm affected by this. Right. And I will stand affected, you know, more than Rodney. Sad state. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah. All right. All right. I just. I just so I. So wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Everybody, write Vic. Minute. Write Vic about wait all this stuff. Wait. This is wait. It's internet television. You can't pick, get this. Pick. Uh, uh, quick, New sports. Quick one. Quick one. Real quick. The uh, Colin Kaepernick. Ka- Kaepernick is your one that's going to be the one that has the most staying power right now. You're saying. Between him and Rodney all the King? Ones I, all, Simone Biles, Kevin Durant, the athletes I put up there is his. Well, the, the most staying power for this kind of a thing because this goes beyond the sport. This is transitioning the world, isn't it? Yes. Okay, this yeah. is what And that's what happened before. This is what happened before. before right. Now, right, we, and it, there were certain athletes who did it. Look them up, everybody, the right. civil rights movement, who stood up and said things right. and were under pressure to not say things. Got you. Got you. Okay. Moving on to the sport that's right now, uh, one, I know people are going like, how come you're not talking about it? But we are. I call it the NFL surprises and shaking my head or shaking my head. And you're going to give me, Mario, whether you're surprised or you're shaking your head, which basically says I don't understand. Right now, Cam Newton, Panthers, one and three, don't look like a Super Bowl team. They did trade off the, the cornerback, got traded to Washington uh, Redskins. They lost a few of their players. Surprise? Or are you shaking your head, man? Well, if, if shaking, I do understand. It's happened before. They did make changes, and those changes can't be, to me, understated. Right. Because what's happened is that their defense is no longer feared. The one thing, the offense still seems to be scoring points. You know, getting up to in the 30s and right. having pretty good movement and stuff. But the defense doesn't seem to be stopping. They can score 30 and get beat by four, you know, with, beat with someone who scores 40. Right. So, no, the defense seems to be thoroughly shaken right. at this point. Right. The offensive things I could just actually attribute more just to early in the season as things because there's things that are looking better and better. The offensive line has had some issues again. Okay. But I expect that just like it's amazing when those offensive lines gel. You've seen that happen to some of the other teams right. when they come together and booyah. Good. But Good. Uh, the defense, Vic, right. that's different. Right. That seems to be to have some fundamental weaknesses that have been – opened up and that's why I don't know where they're ranking right now but I know they don't seem to be able to stop the other offenses that are good I want you guys to listen to the eloquence that Mario Hensley has just put on you about the Carolina Panthers now he is going to be the man who's the owner of this team having the same conversation talking to them at one and three (laughs) assholes party do damn much I told them not to be on Pornhub. Get that Pornhub off the computers in the locker room. I went in the locker room and they had Pornhub. And I said, I've seen those before. Damn it. They even had the old Pornhub stuff. They don't know I have the right. premium membership. Okay. But I just want to say that's what he was saying. He was tired of them. And they're going to change the food. <laughs> so, All that healthy shit. That's why y'all not uh, fighting. Right. Need some pork. Okay. So, Damn what, it. so what you are trying to do is stimulate them because if they Carolinas. go, to, if they go to one and four, Need some barbecue in this mofo. Hey, think about it. <laughs> can they do us? The Seahawks did the same thing. They they lost a few. Can, it, can, okay. The can season's they, not over. God, all right. That season's not over. Right, let's go on. See, that's what I said. I'm that tired. Was, people say the season's not over. By a CEO who <laughs> says I'm still spending these checks. She is not over. Shaking my blah, head. Blah, blah. Or not shaking my head or surprise. Badass. Carson Wentz. I don't know. I didn't know. I didn't know him as okay. a as a college player. I didn't surprise. I tried. I didn't know any of the, the, the top ones. You surprised me? So I'm surprised, yeah. Okay. You know, without an interception. So that makes some of you guys who throw interceptions every week. <laughs> Cause some of you some of the quarterbacks, they throwing 
interception. I, I love Eli, but damn, Eli. How did you like PM, <laughs> how did you like PMC's team Pittsburgh against Kansas City? Did you see Kansas City give you the example of what they called give the ball to them and turn it over and just Looks like Pittsburgh have been, you know, like I said, they bounced back. Didn't they, they bounced back. They That's bounced. what I'm saying. A lot of people bounce back. You know, offensive line changes for them too, Vic. Right. But still, like I said, bounce back. Sometimes they move in a good mofo into, yeah. you know, but obviously the changes worked. Right. I must say that even though you don't have it here, do you have it here? No. I'm thankful. Okay, now you have it here. I'll hold back. Yeah. Because I was something to rejoice on. No, no, no. No, no. We're leaving it where the surprise yeah. is shaking my head. Well, we, there was some other games to rejoice on. Yeah. But I can just say my surprise is here because I, I'm. here's the thing. Has a lot of us rooting for him because of that, right? Yes. Hard not, hard hard not, not to, to root for a quarterback who doesn't throw interceptions. In less than one year, <laughs> you know, the Chip Kelly has thing has been transferred uh, to 49ers. Yeah, he's getting. And yeah. now all of a sudden, a new quarterback, new coach come in. Oh, look at it. It's undefeated. And let, let me give you this. They're only allowed 25 points scored against them. There's nobody in the league right now that is under 60. So they are clearly mm. dominating on the defense. Philadelphia got something to be happy about. Oh. They need it. Yeah, all day. I got family in Philly. Hi, oh. our family. All right. Let's I know y'all need some no. wins. Let's scroll up to the <laughs> need next. Need some wins. Let's, let's scroll up to the next. Don't because disown me. It's... The start of this season had everybody had their heads, like, bowed. I call it the L.A. Rams, and all of a sudden now they're head of their division at 3-1. Surprise or shaking your head? I'm surprised, and I still don't believe it. Give them a chance to choke. <laughs> no, Give them no, a chance to wait, choke. Wait, 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 wait. They're going to bend over, spread the cheeks. <laughs> That's, you know what? That's a visual. For that you. is a visual, bro. All right. So here it is. You got the Rams now, who all of a sudden the Rams have uh, competed with some very uh, noteworthy teams. They're 3-1. and one. Will it sustain because... No, hell no, ain't so, no sustain. This is L.A. Oh, sustain dude. ain't our game. Okay, you do know. You do know. No they, sustain in this game. They're going to be playing at home. They've come no off sustain. the road. Back-to-back games. Give them some Mr. Prolong. All right, I'm going to leave that alone. Let's go on to the next. <laughs> leave that alone. Let's go to the next because you, you, you didn't give an answer. Now, this one... They're not going to make it, Bill. Buffalo Bills shut down New England. I loved it. Zip it. Better than sex. Zip it. Better than sex. All right. So. Yes. So, (laughs) shaking your head because it was Buffalo Bills, or or were you surprised? I was surprised. I was just happy and giddy with laughter. It was just hee, hee, (laughs) hee, 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 hee. Oh, that's right. You know, because I'm tired of New England, man, and everybody I know, every guy I want, I know. Every guy I know wants to date a woman from New England. Every guy. Because they say, in New England, the women don't care if you cheat. (laughs) You know what? Let me just say, you're wrong. You're you're just wrong. The Buffalo, when they invented the Buffalo wing. And and you're right, PMC. Buffalo wing. He is hating on the Rams a little bit, but you know. I am hating on the Rams. He is hating, but I'm just bringing it back. I never did like the Rams. But but, is this the biggest surprise out of the group, the the, the four? This week? No, Yes. Out of the surprise, the Buffalo Bills. Yes, the Buffalo Bills, home of the hot wings. (laughs) Buffalo hot wings, where hot wings was invented. They don't have a, have a whole lot else to claim. Right. Buffalo. Right. Rick James. Right. Hot Wings and the Bills. Okay. I think my so Yeah, did you leave it alone? It's okay. What you playing with, bro? <laughs> was, was open. My, my microphone cable got caught in my zipper. Sorry. Okay. So exit question. Yes, sir. Dallas versus uh San Francisco. Was it a North worthy thank you? I figured. I figured. I figured. <laughs> I'm already there. I'm already there. But I'm waiting for basketball. But you do like Dak. I do like Dak. You think he's going to No one knows what it means when I say that, but I do like Dak. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. So, wait a minute. So, bottom line is. Dak, Dak. Okay. So, let me ask you this. Dak is not tonight, whack. Minnesota, New York Giants. Who you picking? I'm going to go with the Giant. I'm assuming the, the Minnesota, who yeah. seems to be on a roll. They seem to be. They seem like they got a little They're on a roll. Undefeated. My sports is over till next week. Welcome back. Fall morning coffee. We got it like that, Mario. Take us to the home. Grab your helmet. Trying to, man. Oh, that's right. Victor Allen's new new sports. You heard it. Victor Allen's unique fan base view of sports. Sports unlike any other sports. And it's here. Remember, Victor Allen's new new sports is written and directed by Victor Allen. It's a recurring segment 
of the Morning Coffee with Mario show. You can catch it weekly, updated and new, right there. Send them a photo of you and your sports bra. Fellas, too.